I'm just so impressed with the quality of the Great Bend community that cares so much about its native sons and really knows how to keep the history alive. Um, I think they've done a great job of honoring my father and um, we're just really pleased to be here. I'm Mike Allison, the mayor of Great Bend, Kansas, do hereby proclaim April the 28th, 2012 as Jack Kilby Day. And Jack Kilby, the dumb freshman, in his first couple of months at TI was put on this project and they told him, here's the problem, there are just too many wires, we just can't, you know, put together all the wires that make a circuit. And here's what the dumb freshman said, are you ready for this? Why do we need the wires? Why do we need, and everybody said, what are you talking about? Come on, of course you need a wire. Every electronic circuit in history has had a wire. We've always done it that way. And then he invented an electronic circuit that had no wires on it. It was all built on a single chip of silicon. This was his breakthrough. That was the idea. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and what a wonderful day it has been. We're just absolutely delighted to have you here with us this utterly unique occasion, honoring our own Jack Kilby. I think that's one of the really neat things about this program. There's every one of us who speaks in one way or another has either a connection to Jack or a connection to, to this wonderful town that we, we call home. Jack Kilby, you know, this is Jack Kilby's boyhood sign. This is my granddad's call sign, that is my call sign, this is my call sign. Jack Kilby and I share the same call sign. The U.S. Navy has protected his call sign and it is offered to the Kilby family. When one of your family members can get an amateur radio license of general or lecture class and there will be thousands who will help you. Female or male, we don't care. We are protecting that so it's not going to be sold on eBay. When you asked me if I could create a likeness a bust of someone from pictures. I said, sure, but why, why from pictures? He said, well, there's this guy that, that you've, you've never heard of, and he's so humble, so unassuming. I don't think he'd sit for a portrait or even a, a photo session for, a, for a, his own portrait, but he's been nominated for the Nobel Prize. He invented the microchip, and I think he's going to win. His name is Jack Kelby, and Great Bend is his hometown, and we need to do something to celebrate that. Finally, Jack taught us to take life as it comes and not get too worked about, about the highs and lows of life. So whenever he found out that he won the Nobel Prize, he went out to his lawn that day to get the paper, and there were some reporters that were standing out there and saying, so what did you do? You know, what did, whenever you found out, what did you do? I made coffee. You know, and then so, I mean, that's really, I mean, life goes on. He found out. He, that's what he told them, you know, I, I made coffee. You know, he was a hero, long and unsung, but he finally was recognized for his unique contribution that impacted the world. And later this year, uh, we're going to put uh, his plaque in the State House grounds. I'm announcing that here tonight. Uh, and part of the Walk of Honor for the State of Kansas will be a plaque to Jack Kilby, the inventor of the integrated circuit that changed the world. He thought a lot of what drove him was growing up in these in the vast green fields and underneath the enormous sky of Kansas with those huge open horizons. And he said, if you come from here, your ambitions can be as broad as the horizon of Kansas. And you know, I always thought that about Jack Kilby too. Uh, he came out of this town with those same enormous horizons and those beautiful green fields. He came out with a great education, as I've said, and he was an ambitious guy. He was probably, in the class of 41, the best math and science student at Great Bend High. And uh, he just made him ambitious, or maybe growing up here 
underneath, uh, amidst these vast horizons made him ambitious. And so if you're good at math and science and you're ambitious, it was obvious where he was headed. Do you know this story? This is the only dark side of the whole story. He applied to MIT, are you aware of this? When he graduated from Great Bend High and they turned him down. He took the entrance exam and he got 497 out of five, required 500 and they turned him down. And you know what? 59 years later, when we were in Stockholm and this guy was getting the Nobel Prize in Physics, I teased him about not getting into MIT and he was still ticked off. <laughs>
them free. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no day.